Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XV Episode Ignis. I decided to start on the title screen since I saved in between cutscenes I assume last time. I didn't want to load up the game and be thrown into anything I didn't want to be at without recording. So uh, here we are. We just finished Chapter 2. As it says here, the end of Chapter 2, the two protectors. And uh, I think it was actually called like Chances or something, I don't remember. I still don't know how many chapters there actually are in the game. I guess we'll find out. Or in this DLC, it's not really a like game, I guess. But y you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying. Let's load it up. Continue on with this fantastic DLC. I'm loving it so far. The newfound allies race toward the altar, but find they are too late. Lady Lunafreya has passed. Enraged by the loss of his sister, Ravis lashes out at the still unconscious Noctis, who he blames for Luna's death. Sympathetic to Ravis's plight, yet determined to keep his friend from harm, Ignis takes to arms. And then, am I going to have to fight him again? Because we beat him last time. This makes it sound like I'm about to fight him again. There is a thunderstorm happening right now in my area, but I really need to get this recorded now, so that way I don't have to record later tonight, so that way I can hang out with my friends instead, so. Fingers crossed that my power doesn't go out or anything like that, because that seemed to happen, like, a strange amount this year so far. I've had, my area normally does not have many storms, and I maybe get, like, one power outage a year, if that. I've had a weird amount of storms and power outages in my area this year so far, and I'm tired of it. I wish it would stop. We normally never get this much storm. Get this much storm. That sounds strange, but whatever. You know what I mean. You're all smart individuals. I mean, you watch me. Haha. -ha. Compliment you guys and compliment me, you see? It's the opposite of what I normally do, where I just use self-deprecating humor on myself. Load, game, load! There we go. Chapter 3, Sacrifices. See if you yell at it, it works. This might be the last chapter. Sacrifices sounds like it could be where, like, Ignis loses his eyesight and then it ends. But we'll see. Only time will tell. Did it take the game all that time to load that title card and now it has to load the actual game? That'd be pretty hilarious, but also annoying. I don't remember FF15 having trouble with loading screens very much. Is that something I've just, like, blocked out of my memory? I imagine there's a lot of Altitia to load. Biggie! Gladio! Are you alright? Where's Prompto? Well, well. What have we here? <laughs> Oh dear, was I that transparent? The game's up, my boy. I didn't know that Arden could do the thing where he disguises himself as people. Did he do that in the original game and I just don't remember? Come now, why not follow your leisure's lead and stop resisting? Ugh. Never! You risk life and limb to safeguard the King of Kings, only to witness him fail, so... <laughs> So Unhand him! I know I am. Oh, what good is a world that only ever lets you down? Why not end it all right here? No. You can't. <laughs> no! My, you two certainly had the gun fast, friend. Rather than follow this flotsam and float away to a watery grave, why not come with me? What do you say? I... I... Oh, hello. 
Oh, well, thanks for all of these many options you've given me here, game. I wonder if I had waited for the time to go out if something different would have happened. Why did you wait so long to do that? I'll take that. Or an oath to stand with Nott and keep him safe. Whatever it takes, I will protect him. Oh no. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> I may not be over the plot, but if a glaive can harness its power. So can I! Kings of Lucis, lend me your strength! This is how he loses well, his eyesight? They've shown you that they were This music is so good! <laughs> Level unknown, I remember that. No, I'm going to destroy you, Arden. Let's go, my dude. You're going down. Get wrecked. Do you ready? Do you know what it means to have total clarity? Because I'm gonna show you. Oh, what the No time to waste now. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. If you are My bad. Enough, These fools out of here really quick. Yo, we're like in full on Armada's mode. This is sick. I love it. Yo, you ever heard of the high jump, my boy? Let me show you. Yeah, enjoy that one. Taste my fire, you fool. Yeah, man, you're telling me. It is time for some ice. Dude, I absolutely decimated them. They no longer exist. Hey. Stop being alive. Let me hurt you. Total clarity. Let's go. 8.5 times damage. Now we're talking. Arden, I am destroying you, my dude. I'm at, the, I'm at 10 times damage. I cannot be stopped. Oh, well, I mean, that'll stop me. Yeah, the ring's enchantment is worn off. Oh, well, thank you for telling me about that at, like, the worst possible. Are uh, you couldn't have told me a second sooner? I think that's enough for one day. I'll take a B. I'll bring down my GPA a bit from all those A's I got, but I'll I'll live. A retainer's resolve. Wait, did I just finish the entire DLC? Ah, oh, chapter three. That was the end of chapter three. I got an A. Final results. Tactical skill amazing. I think I just finished the entire game without realizing it. I should have just played ten more. Oh my goodness. That was lightning from, if you heard that lightning, that was from, like, outside my home. That was not in the game. I apologize if that came through the mic. That was rather reckless. Where is knocked? Is he... Is he... All right? More or less. All thanks to you. <sighs> Thank goodness. What? <coughs> Be still. Conserve your strength. We have a calling to fulfill. Not! As do I. May fortune favor us both. And you as well, Noctis. Please 
please forgive me. Yeah, I totally should have just finished the DLC last time. I did not realize I only had like 10 minutes left and only one boss battle. I should have looked into that, I guess. But all right, there you go. It's over. I wish there was more. This DLC was so good, but it's just too short, which is the main problem with all of the FF15 DLCs. They're all too short. But you know, oh, we get to watch these nice cutscenes. I really like that Ignis lost his eyesight because of using the Ring of the Lucia. I thought that he had just been attacked or something. Like, Arden had got to him or something. I thought that's what was going to happen when Arden, like, had the darkness over his hands. He was going to, like, shove his hand into his eyes and, like, burn his eye off or something. I like the way this went a lot better. So, it was really, really good. Yeah, still got to wear the shades, man, even if you can't see. That's what I'm talking about. I think Ignis looks way better when his hair is, like, down and not spiked up, by the way. It looked a lot cooler in the rain there, at least. Oh, how are you feeling? it might be past if we brought our journey to a close. Why? It's just that um, we've already lost so much. Too much. Are you kidding me? That's exactly why I have to keep going. Because if I give up now, their sacrifices would have been for nothing. And you... You of all people... You should know that better than anyone. <sighs> the decision is yours to make, and yours alone. But do remember, we will stand with you always, and help you bear your burdens. Don't be afraid to let us share the load. I'll be back. I think they're done with speech, so I can talk over this now. Overall, the DLC was really good. Even though I think it's even shorter than the Gladio DLC, or it's about the same length. The Prompto DLC, Prompto DLC was the longest, definitely. But uh, I would say this is my favorite of the three DLCs, without a doubt. I love Ignis's combat style. I wish it was longer so I could use it more. Ah, it was so good. But uh, the story was actually really, really nice. I loved looking further into Ravis and what happened during the Altitia thing, and having Ignis use the Ring of the Luci was fantastic and whatnot. It was all just really, really good. Really well executed. I just wish they could have spread it out for, like, maybe another hour. If I just had, like, another hour of gameplay, I would have had basically no complaints. But as it stands now, only about an hour and 20 minutes of playing it, and then I've gotten through it all, basically. There's probably some bonus stuff. Like, oh, go back and defeat more enemies and stuff. I don't really care about that. I'm not going to do that. But uh, if they had just made it a little bit longer, I feel like it would have been pretty much perfect for an additional DLC thing. Because I don't really expect a lot out of these episodes. I'm not expecting to get, like, another 10 hours of gameplay or anything like that. I was just expecting, like, I don't know. I Getting a DLC like this, a little episode thing, I would expect about three hours. And this one gives about an hour and 20 minutes. It's, it's too short, is the only problem. If it gave about two hours, then I could be like, ah, it's a little short, but reasonable. But this is just too short to be reasonable. Oh, that scene. 
I remember that scene. That was one of the best scenes in the entire game. I missed that. I need to go back and watch that again. That was such a good moment. It was like the peak of the game for me was that scene around the campfire. Oh, that brings back sad and good memories. FF15 definitely has its faults with its... Oh, wait, what's this? You know, looking back, it wasn't all bad. I suppose we had some fun along the way. And our fair share of trouble, too. But I don't have any regrets. Luna and you guys brought me this far. And now, I'm on my own. Uh, no, you won't be going alone. I No, you're right. I mean, I wouldn't have made it all this way without you guys. Why stop now? In the end, I might not have you at my side, but I'll always have you in my heart. Thanks. Thanks for everything, Iggy. That's just great. Oh, I was so good. I love it. I love it. Definitely the best of the episodes, by far. I was going to say, Final Fantasy XV, its main story, and its DLCs all have their flaws, but overall, I think this is just... It's a good game. I like this game. It's, it's a very nice game. We got an A rank. It took us a little over an hour. See, that's just a little too short for a DLC episode thing. Especially when you uh, had to wait like a year after the game came out to be able to experience it. They just need to be like, just two hours. Two hours and I would have been fine with it. If they could have just gotten in like, ah, oh, here's like an extra 40 minutes of gameplay. Would have been close enough. I would have rounded up to two. To two hours if it was like 145 or something. But, uh, share your certificate of completion? <laughs> nah, I think I'm good. Thank you for the offer. Unlocked new branch of fate in chapter three. Unlocked extra verse. Unlocked friendly match. Acquired the spell daggers. Various cooking utensils are now available for purchase. New branch of fate? We see the Crown's Guard casual attire for Ignis. Okay, that's cool. But all right. I really just wanted to get through the main thing of the story, so I think I'm done now with this uh, little short playthrough. I was expecting to get like six videos out of it, but four is better than nothing, I guess. But yeah, FF15 as a game and its DLCs, like I said, they got flaws. They're far from perfect. I'm not going to argue that they're like the best, one of the best games ever or that they're like... Uh, one of the best FF games, even though it's the only one that I've really played. I played, like, two or three hours of FF7, and that was it. Other than that, FF15 is, like, the it's the only Final Fantasy game i played, really. But, uh, it was good. I enjoyed it. I like the Final Fantasy XV game and all of its DLCs overall. But, uh, Episode Ignis, I think, was absolutely perfect as a DLC. It had good story, good character moments, showed us a lot of what I wanted to see, really good moments and whatnot. The combat was fantastic. I love Ig uh, Ignis's combat compared to Prompto's and Gladio's. But, uh, yeah. The only thing is that it's just a tiny bit too short. It just needed, like, an extra half hour to an hour, and I think it would have been fine. But, uh, it was good. What is Extraverse? Let me see what this is. Resume play from the Branch of Fate in Chapter 3. Well, let's see what happens when I do this. Let's find out. Maybe it's something that'll give me a little more time. We'll see.